Okay, this is from Nancy. Dr. Gallen, there's a lot of confusion and controversy about diets, and the guidelines seem to always be changing. Can you please shed some light on the paleo gluten-free diet versus the vegetarian <laughs> and low-carb versus low-fat? Okay, well... In two minutes. Are, <laughs> <laughs> Let's okay. start with the first one. What's it, it's really all individual. Uh -huh. It's totally individual. As far as paleo, paleo is really a kind of romantic delusion. I mean, you, you can't really eat like a hunter-gatherer right. living in the U.S. <laughs> today. And, and what the hunter-gatherers the Inuit in Alaska are eating is totally different from what the Hadza in Tanzania are eating. Because right. paleo, by its very nature, is local food. It, and so even if well, you're... It's indigenous in Manhattan. Yeah, it's right, right. <laughs> and so even if you're eating um, only fruits and vegetables and you're not having any grains, and paleo really is about no grains, no sugar, no dairy, mm. no beans. You know, nothing that you couldn't just... Right. Um, gather or kill. Right. Um, I mean, even if you're eating those, the apples that you eat are not the same as the apples that originated 4,000 years ago in right. Kyrgyzstan. Right. You know, I mean, they're selected, they're grown on farms. It's, right. it's a whole different thing. Nonetheless, there are people that feel better when they eat that, that way, when they mm. cut out the grains and the dairy products, and almost everybody feels better being off sugar. Right. That's an individual decision. You have to know your, your diet. Right. You, you have to know your body. Right. And I've seen people who thrived on a low carb, high protein diet, following the basic kind of paleo guidelines. And then I've seen other people who crashed on that kind of diet. Their energy sagged, and they did much better as vegetarians, uh -huh. including eating grains. Right, I love grains. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know you do. I really do.